I'm going to be talking about special inspection for steel construction. Why am I using the term steel construction? Well, let's see what Chapter 17 of the 2012 IBC says. 1705 is the section in the IBC that shows the special inspection and testing requirements for all types of construction. 1705.2 is called steel construction. It refers to steel elements, and it has two subparagraphs, structural steel and everything else other than structural steel. I'm going to let you know up front all the special inspection requirements for structural steel have been removed from the IBC and replaced by a reference to the quality assurance provisions of AISC 360, the specification for structural steel buildings. We'll be getting into that in a lot of detail later on. So what constitutes structural steel and what is included in this other than? Well, let's start with Chapter 2, definitions. In the 2012 IBC, Chapter 2 has definitions for steel construction cold formed, steel joists, and steel member structural. You know what these are. I'm not going to show the full definitions. For cold formed, we usually are thinking of light frame studs and tracks and joists, but it also includes things like girts and purlins and metal building systems, floor, roof, and wall panels, unistrut type members, and even steel storage racks. I don't think it was meant to include HSS members for ASTM A500 that also happen to be cold formed. I will mention that the definition of steel member structural refers to rolled steel structural shapes other than cold form steel or steel joist members. Hmm, that's kind of a definition by exclusion. And there's no definition of structural steel. Maybe in chapter 22? Well, chapter 22, steel, says in the scope section 2201.1 .1, that it governs the design, fabrication and erection of steel used structurally. This is a nice general term, but what does it mean? If you've looked at IBC Chapter 22 recently, you will notice that it's very short, just three pages. That's because everything, that is design, fabrication and erection, is referenced to other national standards. And in those three pages, Chapter 22 gets into all the different types of steel construction covered. I've arranged these sections in reverse order, as that is how I'm going to talk about them. And we're going to start switching back and forth between Chapter 22 and Chapter 17, so we can dispense with the inspection requirements for the steel that is other than structural steel. Cold form light frame. That's when you build something out of steel studs and joists and the like. It's a lot like wood frame, uh, I'm sorry, wood light frame construction. And the inspection is very similar to that for wood construction, so I'm not going to talk much about it. The scope of my discussion will focus on the verification and inspection only. So let's uh, discuss when special inspections are required, and more specifically, when not required. When components that carry little to no load, such as non-structural slabs on grade, and footings and foundations that require no reinforcing, and carry relatively low loads, they uh, have made exceptions for those situations. So our first exception is for uh, the building of a three-story building uh, or three stories or less than above grade, fully supported on earth and rock. The isolated spread footing will require no special inspections. But let's note that most jurisdictions will still require a cursory inspection of the reinforcing steel. This is performed by the jurisdiction themselves. All right, the second exception, now if we have the same structure as previously, a building three stories or less than above grade and fully supported on earth and rock, where the footings support walls of light frame construction, and the footings are designed in accordance with table 1809.7, or the structural design of the footing is based on F prime C, no greater than 2500 PSI, under those conditions, no special inspection is required. <clears throat> Many people wrongly believe if the design is for 2500 PSI, no inspection is required no matter what the component. I've been uh, so many times people have told me that, uh, well, we didn't call out for special inspections because it was 2500.